the fighter out of the blue corner. He stands 1.78 meters tall, weighing in at 112.6 kilos. His record, seven wins and six defeats. Fighting out of UAE by way of Lebanon. Roman! And now his opponent, standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He stands 1.85 meters tall, weighing in at 110 kilos. His record, 18 wins, 10 defeats, fighting out of the UK. Yes. You're in green when the action begins. Pedro, double center. Protect your shell, hold your time. When I say stop, stop. Touch the gloves. Hold the action. There we go. Those, as I said, a very, very fast kicks from Roy. Main event time here, Kyle. Man, we have waited all night for this. Two nasty, strong heavyweights. These guys together, just imagine what they could move. School buses and tanks, all <laughs> kinds of stuff. That's true. Huh? And we cannot blink. And a lot of animosity before the fight on the the press conference that was tables being turned and they almost got a fight. <laughs> it's, and a, it's a true clash of the titans is what it is. Roman Webby, of course, staying in Dubai here in the UAE, fighting out of Lebanon. He has a lot of folks out here watching him in the main event. He got Ole Thompson, he just goes anywhere and fights. This guy, you know, half fight will travel. I think uh, Roman got clipped with the right hand on his head, but he's already recovered. Roman kicks very, very quickly with the leg, very fast kicks, and I think he should use it more with this fight. Olive's strong with the hands, but... Roman Awebi, guy that has picked up some wins as of late, took a break from the sport, came back, and has been lighting up his opponents. And look at that build, I mean, the guy is an absolute beast. Ole Thompson, though, he has been in there with literally a who's who of heavyweights, you know, in the division, in the world today. He's traveled probably on every continent and fought. UFC, KSW, BA, MMA. He's been around, as you said, uh, UK's strongest man in 2006. Oh, yeah. It's where he got really noticed, and then he turned that into a really nice career here in MMA. And, and why not come in here to Abu Dhabi Warriors and stake your claim? The thing with this division is that any punch could be the last one. And oh, very nice. He punches down. And he keeps a, if he keeps a, a couple of those, he'll force Roman to put his guard down later on in the fight. Roman Webby. He needs to fire off here. He needs to do some damage on Ole. I wish he was uh, utilized more of his low kicks. Nice counter there by Roman Webby. Yeah, it's kind of his bread and butter. Very, very strong with those kicks. But here comes the big overhand rights. Throwing big hooks. Ole Thompson with that Muay Thai clinch. Oh, he knocked it. He hit the chin with the right hand. You got to wonder how long two behemoths like this can last. How long can they stay standing? It's a lot of energy just to maintain the, all this this weight. He got clipped in the chin by Oli. See, now he start putting his head down. Oli Thompson, they call him the Spartan. Would love to come in here and make big impact. And Abu Dhabi Warriors possibly look for some gold. Roman Webby in that same position. Both men would love to be on top of the mountain. 
here in Abu Dhabi Warriors as we have relaunched here in 2019. And folks, I want to thank everybody for tuning in for this entire card as we are in our main event. Make sure you keep throwing that hashtag up wherever you're at, hashtag ADW5. Roman is feeling that right kick on the leg. Every, uh, it's a couple of times now he's limping a little bit with his left leg. He's trying to hide the leg. And you know Ole's gonna pounce all over that. So Ole is forcing, is kind of dominating the fight, from controlling the center of the ring and forcing uh, Roman to hide his leg every now and then. Oh, once again. Yeah, See, he, he's limping clearly. Oh, yeah, he's going to keep attacking that. He's going to chop Roman down to size. As soon as he gets distracted, oh, another one landed on the nose. Right on the money, but Roman Webby can take a punch. There's a wild counter that does not land. Wow, Ooh. Roman Webby going well for defended. the takedown. He put himself in a very bad position, but at least it is late in the round and he may be able to withstand it. Of course, this 10 seconds can feel like an eternity with Ole Thompson on top of you. Yes, 110 kilos of brutal mass. That's the end of the first round. Indeed, and, and we'll go into round number two. And two big heavyweights go the distance for the first round. And, uh, you know, what can you say about that round? I think both guys had their moments, but I think Ole Thompson, just on leg kicks alone, did a lot of damage, and more more than more likely than not, stole that round and put that in the bank for himself. Yeah, I think he won the, the round, but if anybody thought that he was going to take it easy, uh, Roman showed that it's not, gonna, it's not gonna be easy for him. No, not at all. But for sure, he's feeling that leg, we can say, we can see that, and this uh, tactically will, will give a, a huge advantage to, for Oli because now Roman will have to hide that leg, and if, he, if it hurts, he's going to drop his hand. I'm to... sure his corner has definitely alerted him of that leg if he hasn't noticed. So I would expect that Oli's going to come out here and, and go after it here in round number two. And I'm wondering why he's not throwing uh, low kicks of his own because he does have some very powerful low kicks. And the chant is out here for Roman. The Lebanese are in the house. They've been very, very loud all evening long, very supportive of their native Lebanese fighters. And they are blowing horns, beating drums, chanting all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, it's completely diff different atmosphere when you have the Oh, he wants to catch and counter with the right hand. That's the, what the corner said, exactly how, what, what you suggested before. But Oli is nowhere out of it. You can tell Roman's just having some really tough time, you know, with his stamina right now. It seems like he's breathing kind of hard. Oh, very quick jab for a guy on that size. Oh, Back beautiful. To the leg again. Oh, it's turning a... A nasty little shade of red. Forcing him to hide again, see? Compromise his preferred, his preferred stance. But but we can say this, we've seen Roman Webby, and it's a pretty tough situation that he gets out of it. I mean, the guy has a lot of heart. We've seen uh, other fighters, you know, almost finish him, and then Roman comes back and beats them, so. Yeah, he's the, very oh, unorthodox. Look at that, the right hand on the chin, that's the kind of thing that could turn the fight around. Yep, Ole Thompson smartly nope. gets out of there, but he eats another jab, and this may give... They, they trade the jab now. A little confidence to Roman Webby, who I think has definitely lacked confidence in this fight. He just hasn't been pulling the trigger. Very mature fight, Ole, so he doesn't get uh, seduced by, the, by his advantage and controls the fight. It's a very nice fight to watch. Abu Dhabi Warriors, number five here from Mubadala Arena here in Abu Dhabi. Big thanks to everybody at Palm Sports and everybody behind this incredible organization, bringing it back to the forefront this year in oh. 2019. And with headline fights like this, things are only going to continue to get better. Roman Webby. Threw a lot of shots there, but didn't really land with much. It's 
going for broke, I think. He sees that uh, the way it is is not is gonna go well for him. And now all he kicks the other leg, the right leg, giving him no option. Yeah, he wants to drag that the, the guard down. Throwing up body shots there. Ole Thompson, what's he have in store for Roman Webby? Moving a little slow as well. Not a whole lot of kip in his step. Of course, he's a big dude anyways, but you would think if he had the energy, he would have closed in and maybe tried to finish this fight. Oops. Oh, that face is starting to get real rough on and, Roman Webby. And Roman's blinking a lot, so he's probably not seeing well as well. Olive <laughs> smells the blood. Yeah, we do too. <laughs> yeah, probably <laughs> going for the kill piece. So. These guys oh. are definitely going to look like they got in a fight, that's for sure. Outside leg yes. kick, big straight right. That might be the key for Oli just to throw that straight right. I mean, it's open. Oh. And there's the big jab. Down goes Webby. And Webby, it looks like his nose is completely broken. Yeah, and Oli even look at the referee to stop the fight before. Oli wanted the fight damage. to end. Roman Webby's done. I believe there's not much left in the tank for him. He's going to have to cover up and turn off. And this fight is over. What a win there by the Spartan Oli Thompson. As that jab was lethal. Brutal jab. And it basically exploded the nose of Roman Webby. And it is leaking fluids. Impressive win there by Ole Thompson, a guy that has once again come into an organization and taken out one of the big dogs. And now he is, Go ahead, Kyle. No, he's going to be the face of the, the Abu Dhabi Warriors from now on with this victory. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I would like to see is a man that we saw in the early days of Abu Dhabi Warriors, Paul.